What's up guys? Today we are going to be making this new trending viral design that is making its way all over social media. The design is super beginner friendly and so easy to make in Cricut Design Space. These are going to look so cool on t-shirts with a school mascot. All right, let's jump right in. So first, we are going to need to upload our file. So on the left sidebar here, you'll find the upload button. We want to click on that and then upload our image. Here I have my tiger mascot in a JPEG file. Now, if you have a PNG file with a transparent background or an SVG file, then that's even better. But if not, that's okay. I'm going to show you how I clean this up real quick. So once you hit continue, you'll be prompted with the background remover. And here, if you have Cricut Access, it can automatically remove the background and, give, and it gives you some more features there. But if not, that's okay because you can still manually remove it here. And if you click on the background, you'll notice the manual menu pop up here. So here I already have it selected by default on the select, but if you had some rough edges you need to clean up, you can also use the eraser here and adjust the eraser size to zoom in and clean up your image. But this was an easy one because it was just a plain solid white background. So it was easy enough for the magic wand to grab and erase. Now I'm going to hit apply and continue. And here it can try to convert it to an SVG file, which is a new function in Cricut Design Space that was recently put in. Or you can have it as a cut silhouette image, which is basically just the main outline. So you lose all the layers or you can have a flat graphic here, which is what we're looking for. And this is going to be more for a print then cut project. So we're going to go ahead and select a flat graphic and hit continue. Here you can give it a name, you can add some tags, and you can also add it to a collection. So I have my personal collection for my personal projects that I work on and the ones for my business. Once we have our image loaded in, you can tell this is a massive image. Now I could try to just pinch the corner and try to shrink it down, but this could take me a while. So to quickly shrink it down, I'm just gonna go to the size here and I'm going to put in a smaller number. So let's try like five. And I think that's a great size for us to work with. So I'm going to keep it at that. Next, we are going to grab our text tool and add our words. And we're just going to adjust it a little bit. So I'm going to hit, go to the alignment on here and do left. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I also want to decrease the gap in between the letters here. So I'm going to decrease the line size to shrink that down a bit. And let's make that a little bit bigger. And I think that is looking like a good size. All right, next we are going to go to our shapes panel over here and we are going to grab the rectangle shape. I'm going to close the sidebar here by clicking this arrow so it's not in our way. And I'm going to take the square and I'm gonna drag it out to the halfway point or how, however far I want this to be cut. I'm going to drag this on top just to make sure we've got enough of a gap here. And then I'm going to grab my mascot layer and my square and I'm going to slice. So if you go down to the bottom on the right hand side here, there is a button called slice. Now you'll see we have a few different things happening here. You'll see that his face is cut in half and you'll see that we have this outline and we have the other half of the square that was used for this outline and that's cut out there. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to grab these layers and make it an orange just because I'm going to make that kind of a background. Now the reason why I'm doing this is if you look at our layer, 
if you look at our layers here, okay, you'll notice that the text, it overlaps some of the design here, but it's also going off of his face, okay? So if I don't have anything on the background for that, then you're not gonna be able to read these words because these pieces are gonna all be white. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. And in doing that, I'm just gonna find a color that kind of matches. So this orange looks pretty close. All right, so next we are going to grab the text layer and we are going to grab the half of his face that the text is going on. So these two layers here, and we are going to then slice those layers. We can remove this outline of the right half of his face. I'm gonna delete that. And now you see we're gonna have all these new layers here, okay? So the layer that you wanna keep is the one where you can see the words. You can see there's words here. So that's the one we wanna keep. And we're going to delete this black layer. And we're going to delete we're going to delete this cutout layer here, which is inside his face surrounding these letters. Perfect, so now we have the inside cutout. Next, we're going to grab this part here, which is the remainder of black pieces, and we're going to grab the leftover orange square, and with those two layers, we are going to slice again. And now we are going to remove the black layer. You can see this is black and this one's orange. And we can remove the orange square layer. And you'll see we are left with basically two parts, which is this orange part that went over and the cutout part here. Next, I'm just going to do one more quick thing before I make this design. And as you can see, there's white bits here. So this was part of his nose and is going into the text a little bit. So you could leave it like this, but sometimes it's not fully legible. I'm gonna grab that layer and the orange outline layer, and I'm going to do a quick offset. So I want something super small because I don't want this to be a sticker or anything like that. So I'm gonna do 0 0.02 and I like the square corners for this one. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit apply. And let's keep that on a black. So that gave it a nice black outline or stroke, I'd like to call it. And that just makes it a little bit easier to read. And now I can select all the layers and flatten that. So when it goes to print then cut, it will do that all as one layer. And there we have it, nice and easy. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, bye.